Well, police are asking for help cracking an unusual case. A man accused of stealing thousands of dollars worth of lighters from Metro convenience stores has been on the run for months, apparently. And News Tonight's Kaylee Bourgeois joins us live tonight with more on the suspect who currently has 16 warrants out for his arrest. Kaylee? Yeah, this guy's accused of uh, burglarizing 13 convenience stores in the area, including the one behind me, in about a month's period of time. And his method and target always seem to be the same. Video shows 61-year-old Paul Maxey at the goodies on 63rd, grabbing the display case of lighters and taking off. And Oklahoma City police say he's done this 13 times. Over the period of about a month earlier this year, he was going into convenience stores and gas stations and stealing not only packages of lighters, but the entire display. Maxi is wanted for stealing lighters from 13 convenience stores in the metro area, many in the northwest portion of the city. Reports show Maxi would sometimes even start a conversation with the victims before allegedly grabbing the lighters and running away. Police say his loot is worth $2,000. That's about a thousand lighters. Class and Mart even started putting their lighters in protective casing because of Maxi. I, I don't know why he would steal these lighters. It, it, like I said, it's very unusual, and I don't know what the draw for these particular items are. Regardless of Maxi's motive, police want to find him. They identified him as the suspect thanks to surveillance video. Yes, he does have a history, an arrest history with us. Maxie hasn't been at his last known address since the string of larcenies this winter. Police say he was often seen driving this gray Dodge Charger with damage to the front end. It was over a period of a month, and this was several months ago, and we haven't been able to, to locate him and take him into custody since then. Those who know where the big bandit could be are asked to call Crime Stoppers. Really, the only strange variation we're seeing in these different crimes is some of the convenience store owners say that Maxi was working with an accomplice. Others say he acted alone. On the scene, on the story in Oklahoma City, Kaylee Bourgeois, News 9. That is a strange one.